this section we'll be looking at installing the DCC decoder. I should probably just show you guys. So this is the decoder that I'm going to install. Just a nasty one. Not that cheap, but I got it very cheap at my local hobby store. They were having a clearance sale on these. Um, so this is the Kato drop-in decoders. I've just undone the LED points because I've already got LEDs wired into the locomotive shell. So I'm going to pre-program the sound with this to be GP60. But the sister unit of this loco has got soundtracks in it, so that's why I'm not too fast with it. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got a little board that I've cut out, almost the same size as, size as the decoder, and that's just going to lie on top of the locomotive motor like that, just to make sure that there's no shorts that will sit on top of that there. Make sure you get a bit of tint on all of your wires before you get going. Now, I've got the decoder lying on that little piece of plastic, and I've actually just cut little uh, little relief cuts on the sides. I don't know if you can see it too well, just so that the wires can actually fit through the, the styrene. Um, let me just get that one tinted there. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of solder on the actual decoder itself. So this is where the track pickups will go. And the same on this side. Now again, heat's not your friend here guys. You want to do a quick solder. You don't want to linger and lay on the board. Because that's when you're going to run into problems. Uh, now you can use this sort of decoder in any locomotive. You just got to be mindful. It's not a just a drop and play oops it's not, it's not just a drop and play type scenario you're gonna have to do a bit of a hard solder which if you're doing this and you're gonna be doing this sort of thing anyways um, but it is a cheap way for you to get a DCC sound decoder into another locomotive like I say my hobby shop at this for uh, I don't know $70 normally I wouldn't bother with these sort of decoders but because it was so cheap and I knew I wanted to do something with this locomotive I thought, why not? Right, that looks like that'll do for the most part. And that's pretty much the DCC chip installed. Um, this is minus the lighting, of course. Now, like I said previously, I've got my lighting already installed because this thing had previous DCC in it. Um, all I need to do is take the resistors out of the ones that I've got wired in. Because the board itself has got a resistor in, so it's just, you don't need the resistors on these. So I'm quickly going to wire in the back LED. Now I did quickly test the LEDs to see which sides were positive and negative on these little tabs here. Just so that I know where to wire my um, old um, wires into my new light fittings. Um, I just, I'm doing this off camera guys. I'm just tinting the wires like I said earlier. And this is, we're doing the rear lights now. Um, oops, and I might have to tint that as well a little bit. Um, okay, now I should probably mention at this point the speaker is going to be sitting in the top of the housing, but the speaker they give is not a great speaker, it's Digitrax. So I'm going to change over the speaker. Okay, now. After this, I'll stop and I'll do the front LEDs and we'll continue after that. Okay, I'll just quickly pan over so that you can see what I've done. So I've got the front lights hooked up to there <coughs> and the rear LEDs hooked up to there. It's got another light in here, but I'm not too sure on the Kato what that's for. I assume that's for classification lights or something like something or other um, 
Okay, I'm going to close up the shell. Oh, the only thing that we still have to do is get the capacitor and the speaker. But that's going to be coming through. That'll be coming through this little section here and just plugging in nice and easy. All right. Okay, so the biggest challenge you'll find is massaging it all in there. Um, and making sure that all your wires are out of the way but for the most part that's how that will sit and that will clip over there with obviously we still need to fit this little bugger in there as well um, and then after that we'll download some sounds and get uh, on the tracks 